Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Fagor Innovation FUS6116IT Integrated Appliance. I struggled with it because it had various things wrong with it, and if you want to see what's wrong with it, check out my other videos on testing it. I've hotwired it for maximum speed and maximum destruction. I've removed the ballasts, so it's actually quite a lightweight machine. And up on top, I have one of them to put inside. But let's spin it up first and see what it does. I'm gonna wait for it to spin down, see if I can lodge this ballast inside it, spin it up again. Quite heavy, oh dear, it's really heavy. But it fits quite nicely, it shouldn't be a problem, let's see what happens. I think that's gonna have some fun. Let's get it back up on its get it back up on its top and try again. Hey, it's a lively one this. Don't know if we'll be able to repeat that, but let's try again. It's plugged in and ready to go. Let's give it some volts. Better go again. Quite a lively one this, let's do it again. I was almost going for a variac there at one stage. I think we just have to go straight for full volts. Something's wrong. It's just spinning in there, it's not right. The motor has a tensioner on it, so the belt's gone loose, because this has come loose. So I'm going to have to try and tension up that belt. So I'll plug it out and start again. Okay, we're not live. Hoping that just one screw will, yeah, that's actually loose. 
So I'm gonna have to get another spanner. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how much success we're gonna have. This motor is completely damaged. It's all, uh, it's all cracked off there. That aluminium should be attached to that and there's nothing else holding on at the back. So I'll try and tension it up, but it might not work. There's nothing. It only has one leg at the back because it's a belt that you can put under tension. So let's see how we get on. And this might be the end of it. Never seen a thing fail like this before. That motor pulley is red hot. course the way it is yeah it might just it's just gonna run straight off that pulley unless I can somehow bend this back I don't know how you do that clamp it on somehow I think this one might be dead yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna tension back I'll just have a look and see if I have a similar motor. What do you know, I don't have a spare. That's a shame. Fagor, you've met your match. That is a failure we haven't seen before on washing machine destruction. A smashed motor. There you go. I don't, I don't think there's any way I could do it. There's nothing to clamp onto in there. See, it's just, it's just loose because it's basically resting on this piece of plastic up here. Nothing, there's nothing to pull it back down again. Just got an idea. Not sure how this is gonna do, but uh, I'll give it a try. It's just gonna fall off, I'd say, but we might get it to jump one last time. Let's see. Let's see what it'll do. That's just falling straight off. Well, let's try it. I've got an idea. If we can get it spinning up, maybe, 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 we can just chuck a brick in it at the end. It might not last at all. Let's go for it. That's it, straight on. That belt is off. Just jumped straight off there. No good. What a shame. It must have smashed down on itself because it's it doesn't seem to have any marks on it, but it must have really clattered around in there. Wow. Okay, well, there you go. Thanks for watching. See you later.